Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today I'm gonna explain the difference between user accounts and client or patient profiles within your clinic. So let's go ahead and take a look at the profiles by clicking on the icon. And this is a list of patients or clients that you have in your clinic. And this would be equivalent to a paper file that you would have stored at one time in a filing cabinet. So let's go back to the dashboard. And we're going to look at this section right here, online book and registrations. So when, when, some, when someone goes to your booking page for the very first time, whether they have a profile or not, they're going to be asked to create a user account. And when they create a user account, we're going to automatically create a profile. So we're going to take that user account and we're going to connect it to that profile. So that's a really important concept. So the user account is connected to the profile. So these two have booked and they're more than likely brand new because we haven't identified that there's a profile within the clinic already. And so we have a few options here so I can accept them. And if I accept them, I can send them a form. And so I can look at the forms that I have if I want to send them a form. You just have to be very careful if you have form automation set up, meaning that when someone books an appointment, we are automatically send them a form. So if you have form automation enabled, you're not going to want to send them a form and then you'll accept them. You also have the other option of merging them. So if the profile already exists, you can merge them or you can just outright deny them. So in this case, well, Pat Jones is booked online and there's also another Pat Jones. So if you know it's the same person, you can merge them. Because don't forget, as I told you, is that when someone books for the very first time, they create a user account and we take that user account and connect it to that profile. So again, if the profile already exists and if you accept them, you're gonna get duplicate profiles. So if I go to my list here, you can see that I have similar profiles. So if you do accept them, you can merge them after the fact. So it's not that big of a deal if you do accept them. So if I go back to my dashboard, um, you're going to have to pay attention to this online book and registration. It's something that you're going to have to do on a daily basis and manage this list. Now, if you want Pat Jones, so we know that she has a son uh, in your clinic and you want her to book on his behalf. So you'd go to his profile and Johnny Jones is her son. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a user account to Johnny's um, profile here. So I'm going to take Pat Jones is um, pro uh, back, sorry, Pat Jones's user account and I'm going to connect it to Johnny's and I've already sent her an invitation. So all you need to do is click add user. So if you want uh, Pat to book on behalf of Johnny, you would just send um, Pat an invitation and we've already sent an invitation and it expires within six days. If you wanted to bulk send all your profiles, all your patient profiles within your account, you can bulk send anyone that doesn't have a user account. And so you just can bulk invite users and we're going to identify in this list anyone that doesn't have a user account and you can send them a bulk invite if you want. So when they do go to, the, go to your booking page for the first time, they would will have already a user account. It's connected to their profile and they're not going to appear on this list right here. The other thing that you should pay attention to when you are creating user accounts or when you're setting up um, is the online booking setting. So there's a, a pretty important setting in here and it's called additional fields and it's right here. And so what this does is when they are creating their user account, you determine what fields that you want them to ask, what you want to ask. If you put address, city and state uh, or province, for example, that just means they have to ha they have to fill up more. Uh, they have to complete more fields in order to create that user account. If you're going to send them an intake form, you're going to grab this information from the intake form. So I wouldn't suggest that you click this, but you might might want to click this phone because if someone does book online and they only put their email address in, you might not be able to get hold of them. So I would leave phone um, enabled or clicked or checked off and I probably would not check off that box. So that's really important when you are um, setting up your online booking and with consideration for user accounts because you want to you want a frictionless process when someone is creating that user account. And so when does someone does create their user account, they're going to be asked for their first name, last name, email address, and they're going to have to create a um, um, a password. And so the additional field is that you just have phone turned on here. So that's the difference between user accounts and profiles. So again, user accounts are something that's needed to book online. 
and profiles are our client or patient profiles are something that you have in your clinic and we what we do is we take those two we take the user account and we connect it to a profile so thanks for watching and if you want to learn more about notaro's features you can watch the complete crash course here also you can click subscribe to be notified as new videos are released thanks again